The Labbook Air ships with a charging brick and a cable and some instruction manuals. To begin with, this Chuvi laptop has pretty good specifications for the price that assure a good day-to-day -day performance, but more on that a little bit later in this review. The Air is probably the best designed and well-built budget laptops I've ever tested. The looks may be inspired by the MacBooks, but that's only an advantage as the Labbook is made entirely of metal and space grade color looks really nice. Also, the keyboard is really comfortable to type on, as the keys have enough travel, they are nice to the touch, and spacing just feels right. There is also a backlight, but I wish the LEDs were a little bit brighter and provided a more even light. There is a nicely backlit Chewy logo on the back too. I love the size, portability, and a low weight, making this laptop perfect for traveling. In addition, the Labbook is very thin and it has nice chamfered edges. Of course, size of any laptop depends on the screen size. Speaking of that display, it's a quality full laminated 1080p panel that has deep blacks, good contrast, and it's an awesome screen for indoor use. If you tend to use your laptop outdoors, keep in mind that the display is slightly reflective and it could be a little bit brighter. Also, I wish the bezels were a bit smaller, but I can live with that. The quality of that HD camera could be better, but it will do the trick for Skype or other video chat apps. The lid opens up and closes easily, but keep in mind that you won't be able to open it up with one finger. You need to hold the base of the laptop. We have two USB 3.0 ports and the headset jack that provides with a pretty good sound quality overall. However, once you plug in the laptop into the power source, you may hear a slight interference. On the left, you can find a mini HDMI port that supports output of up to 4K at 30Hz, a DC in port and a micro SD card slot. However, there is no USB Type-C port which should now become a standard on each laptop. The bottom mounted speakers provide just average quality sound. They could be louder, have more depth and bass. You see that M2 SATA flap? You can easily install an SSD disk, which is a great super fast storage expansion solution. Decent specs assure a pretty good day-to-day -day performance on this laptop that runs on a fully activated Windows 10. I never rely on benchmark results, but here they are. The Geekbench and Crystal Disk that shows pretty decent read and write speeds. The Air is quite fast when opening and closing Windows tabs, settings or apps. Also, internet browsing and switching between tabs is really fast and responsive, especially using the built-in Edge browser, but the Google Chrome works just as well. Also, I love the precision trackpad that is responsive and comfortable to use. Also, I found 4K videos to be playing well and just the basic stuff like reading or editing documents and so on works well. However, don't expect to do any intensive tasks like 4K video editing or playing the latest PC games that require powerful internals. I played a few 3D games that I downloaded from the Microsoft App Store. There are quite a few skipped frames and stutter in a good old Asphalt 8 on extreme graphics settings, but if you reduce the graphics to high, the performance is actually really good. It's a similar story with other games I played on this laptop. Even though the Labbook Air is not designed for gamers, you can play some basic 3D games just fine. The laptop gets quite hot quickly though, but it does not have any overheating issues. Finally, the laptop performs quite well with a lot of different windows opened, thanks to 8GB of RAM. In terms of connectivity, both 2.4GHz and 5GHz Wi-Fi speeds are pretty good and the range is decent. Also, I found the Bluetooth to be working fine. Battery life on laptops or any other gadgets is really subjective. The official claims are that you should get up to 8 hours of continuous use. Under my usage, I was able to get 6.5 or 7 hours out of this battery, which is still a very good result. However, it takes about 4 hours and 15 minutes to fully charge the battery, which is quite slow. 
I really enjoyed using the Chuvi Labbook Air as my daily driver for the past month and I love it for a lot of reasons. You get a premium device that looks and feels expensive, the display is great although it's a little bit reflective, the keyboard, the trackpad are really nice and the overall day-to-day -day performance is pretty good. Finally, the battery life is quite decent. However, I wish the loudspeakers were a little bit better, the webcam quality does not really impress, the keyboard backlight could be brighter and more even, and finally there is no USB Type-C port. At the end of the day, I could live with these shortcomings given the price of this computer and I think that the Chewy Labbook Air is a pretty solid budget offering overall.